We are live, coast to coast, border to border on iHeartRadio today. Also, AMFM, 247.com. And uh, we're finally getting back to actually having MMA events again. <laughs> and uh, we have got uh, a guy that I've trained with, a guy that uh, I consider a friend. Alex McGowan is with us. Alex, how are you, sir? Doing good about yourself. Pretty good, actually. Pretty good, actually. Now, you have a uh, big fight coming up on the next EFC Tell me a little bit about this, man. When, 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 when did you get the call from uh, from EFC that you were going to be part of this big show? Man, so it's been a long road with COVID and all that. Um, also, so EFC with David Rickle co-owning it. Um, I just chat with him pretty regularly, and it was just one of those deals that he finally was mentioned. like, hey, I've actually got something to EFC on the book. So I texted him. Um, this, um, I was like, hey, man, dude, main event. I want that title fight. Um, Steven's no longer the champion. Uh, he's moved on to bigger, better things. Like, let's make it happen. So uh, he is making it happen. And originally I was supposed to be the main event. And then turns out David himself is actually going to be fighting <laughs> on it. And it's a huge <laughs> privilege and honor to be able to share a card with that man. That's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, 145 pounds. Uh, you are a, a, a solid 145 pounds. Uh, talk to me a little bit about your training, because uh, I've I've seen you work out in the gym, and it is uh, quite quite the spectacle when uh, Zerger is hitting the mitts and holding the mitts for you. Yeah, so training we've kind of done some things differently, um, especially as I've gotten a little bit more mature with my career and more experience. It's just one of those things that uh, it's one of the cool things about James K is you learn to fight real fast, right? Like, yes. You're not going to leave out that gym of pansy. Like, you show up, it's hard work day in and day out. However, though, um, on the flip side of that coin, by fighting every single day in the gym, it doesn't have a lot of longevity. So talking to some of the more veterans in the sport, um, kind of reaching out to, like, James Krause and a few of those guys up in Kansas City, they always talk about doing a lot more drilling. Save that brain damage. Save that brain. Save that cognitive side of the fight. Uh, be a lot smarter with training. Enjoy it. Have more passion with it that way. So that's some of the deals that we'd be kind of switching up with my training camp this time around is I still have my select hard barn days, but uh, it's more drilling this time. And I'm having a lot more fun with it, um, staying a lot more healthy, um, more energized, more energetic. Uh, but you're right. like I am one of the bigger, thicker 45ers out there. Uh, I'm not the tallest by any means, but coming size-wise, I am one of the bigger ones out there. But it's just one of those things that with this time off over the last, been about two years been studying uh learning more about the health the body the way how uh the body reacts food wise and such and the weight's actually been coming off a hell of a lot more smooth than it has in the past so i'm super excited about getting there and uh make the weight and get back up there and put on performance that's awesome we've got alex mcgowan with us today june 26th at hartman arena he goes for the uh, EFC 145-pound title, and uh, it is going to be quite the deal. If uh, you want to buy tickets, get a hold of Alex on uh, on Facebook. It, about a about a month out here from this thing, and uh, tickets are 25 and 35. So, have you ever fought at Hartman Arena, or is is this going to be a first time deal for you over there? I actually have I have actually fought at Hartman Arena. So back whenever when LFA right before COVID twenty nineteen, and I had a uh, short turnaround from fighting at the Kansas Star August third. Won that fight in the main event, and then fought for LFA uh, against another um, uh, highly ranked opponent in the Midwest, Chuka Willis. Um, I did lose that one by split decision. He was a better man that night. But um, I learned a lot from that fight, so um, I definitely learned a valuable lesson of uh, being in my hometown but switching arenas. It was definitely a different feel for it, um, going from Kansas Star to where I've gotten real comfortable at. I've been yep. there five or six times now compared to Hartman Arena. A little bit nicer, shorter drive, so uh, <laughs> having that shorter commute is a whole lot nicer. Yes, yes. Uh, Alex McGowan with us today. He joins us live. He's going to be part of the huge show at Hartman Arena, June 26th. 
EFC is back, and uh, if you want to get tickets, hit up Alex. He is a, he is available on the old uh, the old Facebook, and uh, tickets are twenty five and thirty five, and uh, you are doing some amazing things. You mentioned the uh, the diet. Uh, talk to me a little bit about you know changing your diet around from from some of your previous fights to this. Give me a little bit more details than than what you were talking about a few moments ago. Absolutely. So, as you know, that big saying out there, especially with all the uh, older veteran fighters, the weight doesn't come off as easy as you get older. And I'm taking that to heart. I haven't experienced it yet, but I don't want to experience it. So, <laughs> it's something that, knowing that I was going to be fighting for EFT for a while now, um, I went ahead and started making those proper adjustments that I needed to uh with my nutrition, my dieting, cleaning it up so that way I can have that proper uh, training camp. Because that's one thing as a professional, we can't we can't set that nutrition aside. And we're professionals. We have a weight, we have contracts to wait to make, and we better make it. Uh, too many professionals out there go off and miss weight, and it's amateur to be able to do that. So um, I have a contract with it, and listening to all my friends out there that talk about, hey, it's important to be able to get that weight low get to your fighting weight so i've uh actually was kind of dieting prior to me even starting fight camp because i like to do my fight camp at the weight i know i will be competing at fight night and reason for that is i want to know how my body's reacting and feeling at the weight that i will be performing at so i have that uh unique experience of instead of trying to uh, lose weight all fight camp, I'm already on the weight I will be at fight uh, fight night, so I get to know exactly how my body's reacting, the speed, the power behind it, uh, the reactions, um, how it's moving, how it's feeling, so it's definitely a uh, huge advantage, I think, um, unlike some of those other uh, individuals out there that spend their entire training camp just cutting weight. Alex McGowan with us today. He joins us live here in a broadcast. And uh, he's going to be part of the huge show. EFC is coming to Hartman Arena uh, June 26th. So weight cutting, it, it, you know, th- th- this is the thing. You, you just mentioned that uh, you've got you've to train smarter, not harder. Uh, over the years, guys and, guys and girls have both had all sorts of difficulties with this weight cutting. I, I've seen, you know, like the, the cyborg uh, video that got to be pretty famous a few years ago. Uh, t- talk to me a little bit about, you know, just your time of, of when you started fighting compared to now with, with the weight cutting. So I've definitely learned a lot along the way so this actually back whenever i was an amateur um my first few amateur fights like yeah it's just the dieting thing pretty serious so i was also still fairly young the weight came off super easy i was able to enjoy like your burgers your fries have a slice of pizza from time to time um it really didn't occur to me how serious weight cutting is until i took a short notice fight back in 2015 for victory fighting championship uh, it happened to be spring break. I was in college. All my friends were either off at the beach or in the mountains uh, enjoying spring break while I was stuck working a part-time job. And I actually got hit up on a Monday evening saying, hey, we need a 145-pounder against a 2-0 guy up in Manhattan, Kansas. And I was like, and whenever I got that text message, I literally just got done eating a Big Mac from McDonald's. And I was like, staring at the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> looking at my phone going back and forth but um so the weigh-in was that thursday and this is monday evening about seven o'clock whenever when i got this text message so weigh-in is thursday at three o'clock fight is friday and i already had somehow just by coincidental already had off that thursday and friday from that part-time job so i was like you know what this is fate i need to take this fight and i end up cutting 17 and a half pounds Wow. Within that two and a half days. And I had to be helped. Uh, my brother drove me up to uh, Manhattan to weigh in. And I remember he was kind of helping me up stand on the scale. And on the drive back, I was just telling myself, I was like, I can't do this to my body. I got to be a lot more serious with it. Yeah. So it was from that moment on, I was a lot more disciplined about, all right, you know what? It's fine to be able to go off and have a cheat meal from time to time, but I don't need to splurge out. Um, if I want to make this into a professional career, 
I need to take this serious and start making those adjustments and be more disciplined about it. And uh, and ever since then, the weight, uh, cutting weight has been super easy and never had an issue. I'm usually one of the first people out to weigh in to weigh in and start rehydrating. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm I'm glad that that you you've learned along the way with some of this because I I've I've trained with guys. I've interviewed guys that. They have done everything since day one, and they are not changing. <laughs> and and they put their bodies through all sorts of hell when they don't have to. So I think that is fantastic that you, after your first weight cut, you're like, you know, this sucks. I need to figure out a better way to do this. <laughs> That's yeah, man, awesome. nothing's more terrible. Uh, it was funny, too, because uh, a few fights later, um, I was sitting up, it was, again, I was fighting for a victory fighting championship. This time I was fighting up in uh, Speaking, Kansas, and a former witch team uh, named Tim Elliott, who currently fights in the UFC, uh, he was actually cornering my opponent. But anyways, he was standing uh, in line with us to do our ceremonial weigh-in, and he was just talking to my opponent and I. And uh, this is right before he was about to fight. Demetrius Johnson for the flyweight title. Oh, wow. Or no, excuse me, excuse me, this is after he fought him, right? Yeah. So he was telling us that horror story about how he got off the Ultimate Fighter and how he just let himself balloon up. I mean, so flyweight's 125 pounds, and you don't get that pound allowance. So 125 is the limit. He said he got up to 148 in between um, the Ultimate Fighter and getting ready for that weigh-in. And, and he was telling us a horror story about how he wanted out of the sauna, and he was going to say, you know what, screw it, I'm not fighting for the title. And uh, from what he says, James Krause just pretty much picked him back in there, threw him back in the sauna, and basically just held the door shut until uh, he wow. was Yeah, it, and so that's that's like another one of those horror stories. It's like, yeah, this weight-cutting thing, it's, it's serious. And uh, even our main event, Dave Rickles, he uh, – Back fighting for Bellator, he gave told me a story how he was cutting so much water weight once point in time that he was kind of losing his hearing and losing his vision. Oh now. my God! Too much. Holy smokes! Well, be 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 glad you're you, you've you've uh, over the years you've you've learned some stuff. I think that's awesome. Well, Alex, uh, I appreciate you making time for us today. Thanks for coming on. And uh, we will see you at Hartman Arena on the 26th of June. Thank you, my friend. Sounds good. I'll see you then. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Have a good day. There he goes. Alex McGowan joins us today here on our big program. And uh, we are going to take a time out. If you want to get more information, go over to Evolution Fighting Championship on Facebook. It is EFC. It is 62621 at Hartman Arena. And we will see you next time. Check us out at JiggyJaguar.com for more.